John yeah, Wick like movies he said, we he, want. Like he said he was, if the he, fans he, want them. He was like, fuck Captain Marvel, <laughs> John Wick, bro. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I do it for the puppies. Oh, yeah, he does. It wasn't just a puppy. <laughs> And now for the movie focus of the week. Alright guys, so we are going to talk about uh, my movie for the week, which is House of Wax. It's rated R. It runs at 108 minutes. It's considered a horror film. It's from 2005 and it's got a 25 on Rotten. (laughs) Alright, so my synopsis, which I did right myself get ready everybody if if you're uh, interested in that uh, a group of youths find themselves stranded near an uncharted town while on the way to a football game while searching for some assistance they soon realize they become the target of a sinister agenda okay nice directed by Juan Serra and produced by Joel Silver and Robert Zemeckis, who did Back to the Future and fucking, you know, Joel Silver produced The Matrix and tons and tons of stuff. Tons they of did stuff. All, tales, all the Tales from the Crypt stuff. Um, yeah, you know. Nice. <laughs> so, what did you guys think of the movie? Uh, I haven't seen this movie probably since it came out. Okay. Um, I remember, I pretty much remember all the deaths pretty good. Um... But uh, yeah, this was a good movie. I think the uh, the gore was on was on par mm-hmm. for I mean for any horror movie. I think um, some of the lines were a little cheesy. Okay. But uh, man, that's from the supporting cast, not really the the main characters who you saw, but uh, who you see throughout the rest of the movie. But um, uh, Paris Hilton. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, that is pretty good. Uh, I definitely recommend this movie. It's fun. All right. It's a good movie. I like the little. The whole town was fucking creepy. It yes. Definitely like a a, a Disneyland gone wrong Oof. vibe uh, kind of vibe. Yeah. Okay. Like downtown, going through the main street. That's that you, kind of feeling. Did you go to Neverland Ranch in this one? <laughs> no. <laughs> Diego, any thoughts? Um. Because I know she, so James had seen it before. Yeah. Once, and you had never seen it. I've never seen it. So, what, uh, what were your thoughts uh, watching this? Um, uh, also, happy anniversary to this film because it just turned fourteen, I believe. Oh wow! Nice. Yes. Where we're all talking about. Um, Make- sorry. Side note: we We're just all talking about um, on the way before coming here. Was talking to my friend how most of everything, music and movie wise, is turning like fifteen. Mm-hmm. Like fifteen or twenty years old, when uh, it's just kind of unique. I mean, it's a milestone for for a lot of us who are in our early thirties, um, late twenties, yeah. and shit. So, um, what did I think about this? Where should I start? <laughs> an, should overall, I start? an overall. An Where over- should I start ripping it apart? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I guess. It was I, you know what? It, I knew it was a 2005 movie. Uh, you didn't have to tell me the day, mm-hmm. <laughs> the fucking year. You can kind of uh, guess. I could kind of guess yeah. it, what year it was made and everything. Um, I had seen maybe clips here and there. I know I I I, I knew about the Paris Hilton death, mm-hmm. but I didn't know how she died. Yeah, which is fucking funny because she it's crazy. But um, other than that, I thought it was uh, it was neatly edited. It, it definitely kept me in suspense in some parts. Um, it felt more. It, it's funny because it didn't feel like it was like a like a theatrical movie. Mm-hmm. Felt like more of a, a direct to DVD kind of setting to okay. it. But I don't mind that because a lot of movies were going to directed TV, um, or directed work. DVD kind yeah. of stuff. But it it this made me actually this made it work actually it, to their it made it work to their advantage and stuff because mm-hmm. it uh, it did get a, a theatrical release and it's like a um, I would say it's not my horror movies are not my forte mm-hmm. all that much. But I mean, if it's 
if it's on TV or if it's on like streaming somewhere. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Cool. I'll sit down and watch it again. You know. Yeah. Maybe get a different perspective of it. A second watch. Yeah. Yeah, I would okay. say I would say that so it's worth a second watch. Yeah, for sure. Okay. I mean, it's a, but even if with if if it's like background noise and stuff while yeah. I'm working on something, like fuck yeah, it will. Yeah. You know, shit. Like I watch Gossip Girls in backyard, fucking. I mean, background noise and shit. So. Yeah. And um, yeah, see, I didn't rip it apart. <laughs> <laughs> Ray, uh, uh, rating for this movie what would you give I will give 10? it uh, I would say a 6 okay just uh, just the, um, what caught me off guard was a lot of the a lot of the um, I would say what caught me off guard was just the lines mm-hmm. uh, it was a little bit too fucking cheesy for me especially okay. cause um, I'm used to like seeing like uh Things like Inferno, I mean Green Inferno, mm-hmm. and like House of a Thousand Corpses, and and uh, The Devil's Rejects, and um, I'm a huge fan of like Chucky or Freddy Krueger stuff like that, you know. And uh, of course, I like my cheesy shit here and there, yeah. sprinkled in there, but there was too much uh, cheesy shit on there. And um, I know the present. I know I shouldn't be hating, but the presence that Paris Hilton gave <laughs> in this movie did not help. But, um, but I mean, me rating that doesn't mean like I'm gonna not watch it or recommend it. It's a really yeah. good movie just to see. Even, um, I would say Cinema Traffic, uh, I mean, as a, as a picture wise, it was fucking good. Mm-hmm. It's better than a lot of shit that we've seen. Yeah. I know for sure. Like, um, there's a lot of stuff that we've seen that's like super grainy, and this mm-hmm. was just perfect. It was filmed in the fucking night most of the time. Yeah. It was really good. It was good. Mm-hmm. I give it a six, six and a half. Here we go. Okay. What did you think about this? Right? Is your pick of after all? Yeah, it's been a few years since I watched it all the way through mm-hmm. for sure, and I was I wanted to pick this uh, in honor of the anniversary and see how it's aged. Yeah. You know, because it's an older movie, but it's not too old. Yeah. You know, it's a, it was at the cusp. I remember renting this um, on VHS. I dubbed it. I did a, <laughs> a copy of it, and it was at the cusp of you know right before the transition of where we just had DVD. Yeah. And so that's really weird to think that that it's this old, that old. Yeah. That it actually was produced on VHS. It had to be one of the last titles. Yeah. Um, wow, that's funny. Which is really cool to have that memory and. Um, I remember really loving this movie and anticipating the when they were making it and having mm-hmm. and seeing it come out and I never got to go to the theater for whatever reason and then I saw it on video, you know, for the first time and I loved it especially because the soundtrack um, with a, with the you know with the exception of a couple lame tracks that probably didn't have to be <laughs> it's it's pretty good and and eclectic yeah eclectic taste which was really um, fun and then I think the cast is really good because the so this movie's interesting because they they set it up as a kind of by the number slasher at yeah. first you know you have all the it people from that time. You know, Chad Michael Murray from One Tree Hill, Paris Hilton, of course, from What? The Simple Life. Yeah. Um, you have uh, Alicia Alicia Cuthbert from The Girl Next Door and 24. And then, and, and the list goes on, of course. And I love how the movie kind of, uh, it, it psychs you out with, you think you know what you're getting, you're, that you're getting this kind of cheesy slasher and, and it really sets you up for that tone and then about um, midway in, you kind of begin to see that it's a lot. There's a lot more kind of seeping through. Yeah. And I really respect it for that. I think a lot of this holds up. Um, I do agree with Diego that Paris Hilton's um, performance probably <laughs> didn't win at any points. Yeah. The fake kissing part was just horrible. <clears throat> Well, she was either really horrible at fake kissing, or she was not uh, into the, uh, the actor Ricard or whatever his name was. But uh, it's because Paris Hilton had a boyfriend at the time, and I think that maybe that's that's why. Because I know she says she said before that 
in that scene where they're in the truck and they're driving next to each other. Yeah. And it looks like she's like giving the Felicia. yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. giving her boyfriend a blowjob or whatever while he's driving, but she's really looking for a lip balm. I guess they set that shot up, but they never told her what they were what they were actually going for. Oh, okay. That she was just they were like, look for your you know lip balm on the floor, yeah. and that they just kind of manipulated that to, and put it in there. Yeah. And she was like, I can't believe they did that, and that was it's so gross. And my boyfriend got actually got mad at me because yeah. he was like, what the fuck? Like you really did that <laughs> in a movie? Wow. Like, what's the matter with you? Like, it, was, it was fake, bro. It was real. <laughs> anyway, going back to House of Wax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, this movie, does, you know, dares to be something more. I think the writing is, is really smart. I love the parallels of the, uh, you know, Ch Chad Michael Murray's character and Alicia's character. Mm -hmm. the brother and his brother yeah. and his uh, sisters and their... <laughs> but anyway, There's I like the parallels yeah, between them and the villains yeah. of the film, Bo and Vincent, yeah. right? Uh, the villain, I think, if for me, in this movie, he makes... He makes the movie. Oh yeah. Because if your villain ha doesn't have charisma and isn't there, you know, one hundred percent, like you're fearing for these people, mm -hmm. especially in a slasher like yeah. this, then you have no movie. Yeah, it doesn't and work. This, and this guy killed it. Oh yeah. Yeah. He fucking, it looks like Bill Paxton to me. <laughs> it, he does. First yeah. off, yeah. He, okay. And uh, his, his his dialogue, great delivery, mm -hmm. um, very fun. He's. He just killed it, dude. Yeah. And, um... Wh uh, what else? Um... What would you rate this? I'll be... Since I picked the movie, I'll be extra hard on it, and I'll say after it's aged, a seven... Seven and a half. Okay. Nice. I was gonna go to seven. Because it's, um... Some of the dialogue is aged... Hasn't yeah. aged well. But that's the thing, is I think a, a, a good portion of that is in the beginning yeah and once you get into the characters get into trouble and things start to heat up you um it gets more serious like alicia i feel like she's not really invested until she gets um you know r right around the time she gets captured boom the light turns on and you you have a great oh, yeah. fucking performance yeah. there when she gets her mouth glued uh -huh. that was, and, uh, and and her fucking finger cut off that scene i was like ah oh, that fucking sucks but then <laughs> but then her re what i love is like when the brother finds her and he rescues her or whatever momentarily she's still like ready to go like let's get out of here yeah perfect final girl and mm -hmm. this was her first ever horror film oh nice okay you know, and I love the choice that they ch chose to dye her hair brown mm -hmm, because yeah. you take her, um, you know, like mm -hmm. she, she looks more like of an average girl. Like this could be plausible. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Okay. Lots of stuff. Nice. Right? I gotta say the scene where uh, Jared Padalecki gets his uh, Achilles Oof. Uh, cut. That's kind of nasty. That uh, whenever the whenever the, whenever those happen in in uh, in Even horror hostile. movies, yeah, it, it always always. Uh, looks I good. feel like I I feel it. You cringe just because it's like oh, like, it's, uh, you're never walking again. If no, you, it's it's fucking horrifying. To if see people that. have never hit themselves in that area, it fucking hurts like a bitch, yeah. dude. And imagine being cut there. That's like deep into your deep into it deep like, into that tendon no, it's just fucking horrible and then <laughs> I like how he just cuts off her finger she's wiggling her finger through a vent to try to get her brother's uh, attention and he just kind of goes down pulls out his uh, little he little blocks wire. it with his, his wire his wire cutters and goes snip and then he picks up the finger and puts it in his pocket like nothing but I mean yeah with just like kind of like just smoothness and grace he just snipped and then puts it away, but I was just like, oh my god. And of course she can't scream. Yeah, because her, her lips are uh, glu uh, super glued, which is fucking insane. And that scene where you see her lips getting peeled apart and the the skin ripping was just horrifying. Yeah. That's what, uh, another thing that I think this movie gets right is the kills are so inventive. Oh yeah. And, you know. The jav and, javelin and through the head with, uh, with uh, Paris. Mm -hmm. That was a good one. And, uh, and of course, the the another thing I feel like the sets throughout this breathe mm, like oh, their yeah. their characters unto themselves. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Most of that shit is really casted wax. Yeah. 
a good like that whole you know like the museum and everything mm -hmm. was really all wax.